Welcome to Dark Horse Auto and Diesel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a valve adjustment on a Ford 201 diesel engine. These are commonly found in older tractors and stuff. This one in particular is a 1978 Ford 535. The first thing we need to do is take our breather tube off of the valve cover and there's a bolt that holds that on right down in there. And once you get that bolt out, just grab a hold of it, kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Then we'll take the eight bolts off for the valve cover. Those are half inch. Then carefully, without knocking too much crap into the engine, go ahead and lift this off of here. Next, what we need to do is find top dead center compression stroke on cylinder number one. So what you need to do is spin the motor over, and if you have access to it, you can get on the crankshaft with a socket and spin it over. I'm just gonna bump the starter. What we're gonna look for to start with is both valves moving. This is your intake, and this is your exhaust. The front valves are your intake valves, your rear ones are the exhaust. So what we're gonna look for is the exhaust valve opening, and then the intake valve opening. Once they both move, we're gonna rotate it another 360 degrees because then we'll be on compression stroke. There is timing marks on the flywheel, but I like to do it this way just so we can verify that we are in fact on top dead center compression. It's right there, cylinder one, both valves are moving. Intake. There we go. Now we'll get our feeler gauge and feel up in here. That seems loose already. What we're looking for is 15 thousandths on the intake and 18 thousandths on the exhaust. And the book says 14 thousandths go, 16 thousandths no go for the intake and 17 go and 19 no go on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the uh, 16 in the intake right now. And it definitely goes by a lot. So we need to tighten this up. Just take a 7 16 wrench. Sixteen thousandths does not fit now. Fourteen doesn't quite go. Went a little bit too much. It doesn't take much. Okay, 14 just kind of fits in there. 15 and the 16 shouldn't really go in. No, not without forcing it. All right. And then we'll do the exhaust. 17 fits. This one might not need any adjustment. 18. And 19 does not go. So that valve's good. Now the firing order is one, two, three. So we'll spin the motor over. I'll probably end up going too far, but now we'll just watch the valves on this cylinder. And then repeat the process. And that one, the 16 on the intake, just slid right in, so definitely need to tighten that up. All right, 16 won't go. Try our 14. Yep, 14 goes. And 15. 
Ooh, that one's really bad. That's the 19 on the exhaust and it's just completely flopping around in there. no go 17 goes see how our 18 fits yep try 19 one more time yep. good on that one now for the last cylinder Ooh. 16 slides in there on the intake without even touching. And then our final exhaust valve. Oh man, way out. Nineteen doesn't fit. Seventeen do. Eighteen. Just kind of snug. Try nineteen one more time. Yep. And that's pretty well it for the valve adjustment. Next, we'll go ahead and just clean up the gasket surface on here on top of the head, clean our valve cover up, and start reassembling everything. Once you've got everything cleaned up, we'll take our new valve cover gasket and get it stuck on here. I'll put the OEM part number on the screen right here. Then we'll set our valve cover back on. bolts started. And then just snug them all down evenly. Then go back over them one more time and make sure they're all snug. I don't have a torque spec for it, but uh, just use your brain. Don't go crazy with it. Then we'll get our breather tube put back on. And don't forget about your bolt down there for your breather tube. And that's all there is to it. Now we can go ahead and fire it up and see how she runs.